Hey everyone, welcome to Joanne Four Kitchen where we just enjoy food. So let's enjoy this delicious, moist and decadent Jamaican fruit cake also known as Christmas cake or black cake. So the first thing we're going to do is to line and grease our tin. So I already have so I have a nine inch round tin here and I've already cut out some grease paper to fit the bottom. I'm going to use some of my same margarine that I'm going to use to bake my cake. Take about a tablespoon of that and generously grease my tin. You want to make sure that you get the sides as well. And then set that aside. For this recipe, you can use either butter or margarine. I'm using margarine. If you're using butter, I highly recommend that you use salted butter because it works well in balancing out the sweetness of the cake. So a hack that I like to use to ensure that my butter and sugar creams well is to partially melt the butter over a double broiler. You can use a microwave as well. Of course, we all know that if we're using the microwave, we use a microwave safe bowl instead. So with the exception of my sugar, I have already prepped all my dried ingredients in one bowl. So here I have my all-purpose flour, cinnamon, nutmeg, and my baking powder. I highly recommend that you sift your flour. Do not skip this step because the last thing you want is to see white lumps throughout your black cake after you bake it. It's really unappealing. And also for your nutmeg, I highly recommend that you use freshly grated. It makes a huge difference. If for any reason you are not able to find fresh nutmeg wherever you live, you can use the one that's already grated in the container. But as I said before, use fresh if you are able to find it. It makes a difference. I'm using all of 8 eggs and to my eggs I'm going to add my vanilla extract. and some rose water. Now I know that there are persons who add lime or lemon zest to their eggs to prevent any rawness. I personally have never done that. I've been using this formula for almost 10 years and I've never had any complaints or issues with rawness. But if you're concerned with any rawness in your cake, you can go ahead and add your lime or lemon zest or your lime or lemon juice. However, if you follow this formula step by step, you shouldn't have any issue with rawness. I already have a video on how to prepare your fruits which I'll link above as well as in the description below. A full list of all the ingredients and measurements will be listed in the description as well. So I've already gone ahead and partially melted my butter and this is what we want our butter to look like. So I'm going to add my sugar. And I'm making just one cake for the sake of this video, so I'm going to be using my hand mixer to cream everything. So start with the lowest speed to incorporate everything and then we increase the speed. And now that that is combined, we're going to increase our speed to high and whip everything. And you want to use your spatula to scrape down the sides. Alright, so I'm done creaming my butter and my sugar. And you want to cream that for a good 3 to 5 minutes until it's light and fluffy. And this is the consistency you want to achieve. 
and now I'm going to gradually add my eggs while I keep my mixer on low speed. So this is what my mixture is looking like after adding my eggs. So now I'm going to alternatively fold in my dry ingredients and my fruits. And now would be a good time to go ahead and preheat your oven. I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 140 degrees Celsius or 284 degrees Fahrenheit. And once I start to add my fruits, I like to gradually add my browning as well. So I'm going to go in with about half a tablespoon. And as I continue to mix, I'll see if it comes to the color that I like. And I like to finish off my mixture with a splash of that same red label. And white rum. Give your cake a gentle shake to level. And then tap to release any air bubbles. And now into the oven this goes for about an hour. Alright guys, so here's our perfectly baked fruit cake. I bake my cake for 1 hour and 25 minutes at 140 degrees Celsius. Low and slow is always the way to go when making fruit cake. I know every oven is different. Just keep an eye on your cake and lower the temperature if necessary. Never bake fruit cake at high temperature because what will happen is that the outer part of your cake will burn and the middle part of your cake will still be uncooked. To finish off my cake, I'm going to go in with a couple tablespoons of rum. And a couple tablespoons of wine. And I'm going to generously spoon this all over my cake so while it cools, it soaks up all that wonderful flavor as well as it helps the cake to remain moist. And then top it all off with my cherry. After a few hours, my cake is completely cooled and as you can see here, it has retracted from the side of the pan. So I will demonstrate how I usually remove it from the tin. I'm just going to use this dinner knife to run along the circumference so it can come out easily. And I should have put a little bit more butter on the sides because it usually comes out easier than this because I had to use a dinner knife to gently lift the sides. And you can always line the sides of your tin, it's just that I don't usually do that. And there you have it guys, delicious, moist, rich and decadent Jamaican fruit cake. Yes, this video was a bit late, but who says we can't enjoy fruit cake even after Christmas or year round? 
With that being said, hope you enjoyed the video. Please help the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. We're on the journey to reaching the first 1,000 subscribers, so I'd really appreciate the support. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you will be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Feel free to tag me on Instagram at joinfo underscore if you give this or any of my other recipes a try and follow me as well. All my other socials are in the description box below. Thanks for watching and until next time, live life to the fullest and just enjoy food.